Hello everybody and welcome to Allied Electronics and Automation's unboxing and setup of the Omron Team 5 Series Cobots. My name is Mark, I'm a Portfolio Manager with Allied and I'm also your Allied Guide to Cobots. I'm joined today with by Andrew to assist me in putting the system together. Today we have two products that we'll be using. The first is a TM5 series Cobot bundle from Omron, and the second is a mobile workstation which is also from Omron. Links to these products will be in the description below. Today we will look at how these items will be come shipped to your house, how to open them, and how to assemble the units. So the first unit we're going to work on today is the Omron mobile workstation. This is built specifically for the TM5 series robots and has several attributes that make it very handy. This comes mostly assembled from the uh, manufacturer in a very large wooden crate. For the sake of this video, we've actually done away with the crate, and we've done away with all the protective wrapping around it. So first, let's look at what this mobile stick workstation comes with, and how it looks when you set it up. The first is a nice mounting surface, completely level, here for your TM series robot. The next is a place to run your wires through down to the uh, inner portions of the cabinet. And the next is a bit of an accessory rail where you can add accessories, you can add tooling, you can add whatever you need to add, just a, just a place to, to mount it. Coming down the system here, we have our first access door that is going to go with the control box. So the control box will melt onto these rails, it's supported, it's got places for you to get to the I.O. ports. We've got our support structure for the cobot itself. Moving further down, we have all the onboard electrical systems for this system, for this cabinet. So the cabinet has one place to plug in power, it goes to a circuit breaker and is brought up to a power strip so that you can put all your 120 volt accessories in here without ever having to run more power to this system and it's already protected for you. Let's look at the hardware that's included with your Omron mobile workstation. So opening up the box, we have our power connector to go to the wall. We have a cover for all of your wires to run into the control portion of the cabinet. We have the rails that will mount into your cabinet to slide into the uh, control box. We have all the brackets that we need to mount the control box to these rails. And then all the hardware we need to make that happen. Now let's look at the TM5 series Cobot bundle. When it comes shipped to you, it's going to come on a large pallet with these two boxes. For the sake of space, again, we've removed the pallet and we just have the two boxes. Alright, so let's start by unboxing the control box for the Omron TM Cobot. The first thing you notice when you open this up is a giant sign that says, do not throw away. Well, that's fortuitous because this is all your calibration stuff that you need to actually calibrate the robot as we go through our setup here. Let's start unboxing the control station and see what it looks like. So this is our control station. Looks like any other computer you've ever seen, although probably a little more industrial. Alright, this is what we're used to calling the robot teach pendant. It is now the robot stick. Kind of a weird name, but it's what we got. It's hardwired into your control cabinet right here. It saves it all the time. You can't unwire it. It is what it is. So moving into the features of the, of the I.O. portion here on the control panel, we have our safety I.O. We have our 24 volt rail. We have our digital inputs and digital outputs. And then we have our analog inputs and analog outputs. On the computer functionality of it, we have a serial interface for communications. We have an HDMI and a VGA for uh, video output. This does have built-in software and you can program it directly from the controller. It has USB hosts so that you can put in uh, keyboards, mouse, thumb drives, whatever. You can store, th store stuff that way. It has network capabilities and it also has microphone and audio out for voice in and voice out. It does have a voice generator to give you warnings and commands. To mount this into the workstation here, we need to remove four pieces. We need to remove both of these feet, and we need to remove both of these handles. When you do that, make sure you retain these screws. They are necessary for mounting into the brackets. Now that we've removed the handles and the feet, we see that we have it installed into our uh, mobile workstation here on the rails that we mentioned earlier. All right, now that we've got the control box assembled and mounted in our cabinet, Let's work on getting the robot arm ready. So if we open this box, you can see that the arm is just packed in a little bit of styrofoam. All right, getting your partner to help you, we're going to pick up the arm. Now as we saw earlier, this arm mounts onto the bolt pattern on top of our machine. Once you get it aligned with your bolts, we'll secure it with four M10 nut bolts. Alright, once you get everything tightened down, we'll remove our extra packaging, 
get ready to uh, plug everything in. Alright, so we'll, we'll run our uh, cobot connection cable down through our hole in the top of our unit and fish it out the front. Now that we've got this plugged in, let's plug in our power cords. So to power up the robot, we're going to take our power cord here, plug it into our control system, and then plug that into our power strip right here. Push our cables in out of the way. All right. Now we're going to apply power to the mobile workstation as a whole. So we'll plug this in down here, plug it into our 110 volt power, power source. Reach back into our control station, flip on the circuit breaker we were talking about earlier, and flip on our control box. You hear the fans start whirring, you know you've got power to everything. To turn on the robot, we're just going to press and hold the button for a half second on the control stick. It'll take about three or four minutes for the thing to boot up. You'll hear all of its joints click and move out of place, and you're ready to program. Thanks for watching. Come visit us at allytelect.com, search for Cobots to find out more.